Alrighty guys, we are back with another video. Thanks for tuning in. I am Professor Pokesim. Thank you for supporting this channel for those who've been following me. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel uh, for the latest updates on Pokemon, uh, the trading card game, especially when we do box openings like this. And then also, uh, we're going to be doing a lot more gameplay. I did upload a video of the Jolteon VMAX gameplay. That was really fun. Uh, I think what we'll do next is probably maybe do Gengar VMAX. And the reason I've got this box here, I got this from Flip Table Games. And because the it's not because Jeremy gave me a box that had nothing in it. And by nothing, I mean no Mew VMAX. I've been looking for a Mew VMAX, just the regular full art. I don't care about the alternative art or the secret rare. And secret rare, I mean by rainbow. I just want one single Mew VMAX. Uh, right now they're priced around 30 bucks. I told myself I wouldn't build a Mew VMAX deck for any kind of standard tournament for physical gameplay until I actually pulled one myself. I just feel like it's, it's just like one of those principal things, you know? And I will show you. I will show you the binder. I've got plenty of bulk to build the deck. But as you can see, I am missing the Rillaboom VMAX there. But, like I said, <coughs> excuse me, there it is. Look at this, I've got like, I got four of these ready to roll. Got four, I, you know, just one for the binder and I got a few more for to build the deck, right? Good to go. Got plenty of, uh, you know, power tablets, got plenty of ultra balls. I've got like eight Genesects that I could build, you know, another deck around. Hey, plenty of battle VIP. You know what I mean? Everything to make the deck. But here's the thing. Check this out. I've got... I'm just missing the Mew VMAX. I mean, I don't even have... Like, I'm still missing a lot, as you can see. Um, I really haven't been hitting Fuse and Strike a lot. Uh, just because the brilliant stars had caught my eye. But let's just get into this real quick. And... Let's see if the... If the box that Chris sold me is any better than the one Jeremy gave me from Flip Table Games. Again, this video is not sponsored by them. However, I do buy a lot of my product from them. So go check out their website, fliptablegames.com. And if you guys are in the local area of Madison, Wisconsin, they do do the uh, Pokemon from 2 to 6, I believe that. We're starting to do it. I will be there more often. I'm done with ROTC. Uh, for those who know, I am currently in the uh, U.S. Army Reserves trying to commission. But anyways, that's enough about me. No one wants to hear that. That's boring stuff. That's cool. Look at that. Boom, boom. Ready to roll. All right. So let's get into it. All, like I said, all we are looking for is one single VMAX. And by... VMAX, I mean Mew VMAX. All right, so we're just gonna go through this pretty quickly. Oh, there, speaking of Mew, boom, there it is, we got the Mew, check, check it out. Yes, I mean, that's crazy. Maybe this is, maybe we're on our way. We are, maybe, yes, we are on our way. What a great start to this video. And you know me, I'm always looking for sleeves. And there it is. Look at that. Boom. We got all right. So we're good to go. We got one Mew. And but I mean like on the on PTCGO, if you guys have ever played me, I do play the Mew V Max deck a lot. Um I I think I forgot. We're just going right through here. And then Bolton V, good to go. We're all right, I mean Bolton V, not bad. Here we go. Not you're not seeing a lot of Bolton V uh, play though. Uh, just because the Urshifu V Max is still active, and again, just we'll just put this up. Just very tough to go against. Uh, I think you can use Arceus V Star to you know however you want to get Bolton V going. Um, again, Urshifu just hits hard. All right, now we got Milano. There we go. That that's good for the Mew V Max deck. Uh, you know, actually, we'll just put decks aside or cards aside. There you go. I don't know if you guys got that. Cards aside uh, to show you 
what is in a Mew VMAX deck. I don't know if, if you guys ever want to try to build it. Uh, uh, we we can certainly let me know in the comments if you'd like to see see this built on PPCGO. I can do that. Um, but I will pull out the cards here that I think would go in there. Uh, you could actually put there if, if you want there, but I just don't see that being Elsa Spark. There we go. Oh, Alessa, Alessa Spark. El Elisa's? Elsa? Alessa's? I think it's Alessa. I don't know. Let me let me know. I always feel like I mispronounce the names. But yeah. Um, hope everyone is doing well. And hope you guys' gameplay is going well as too. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I finally... So I went to Best Buy. And I... Nothing here. Okay, Cross Switcher. I don't know. It's okay. I, I went to Best Buy and I got like 100 packs of Evolving Skies. So you just are sitting there for taking. And I felt bad. But you know me. I am looking for the Umbreon VMAX like everyone else. It's such a playable card. But at the same time, the artwork is absolutely beautiful. Um, and I just... You know. So anyways... I think it was like 100. It wasn't like 100 packs, but it felt like 100 packs. Um, here we go. Nothing. And then do we... No, Inteleon V. Cool. With the rep, with the Aqua Bullets. Very cool. I don't play a lot of Inteleon V just because I know Jolteon VMAX is out there. And with Path to the Peak, you turn uh, off its VMAX ability. But I'm just not a big water guy. I just... I don't know. Until... I feel like, I don't know, Lapras maybe was pretty good solid water. Um, there we go. Uh, LS Spark, that's another one. We'll put that in that pile. Don't think, yeah, anything from there. All right. No v, Mew VMAX. But anyways, I was saying I got a bunch of packs from Best Buy. And I did it. I just was going crazy like a madman. I ripped just as many as I could. I mean, I was just going crazy, and I, I got, I got these. Oh, Steelix V, or Steelix V. Uh, I keep getting sidetracks. Uh, powerful Rage. This is gonna add up quickly. I think if you just use Don Fan with this, you could, you, you can add up some damage. But um, I don't know. I, I think it's all right. Not the best, but anyways, I pulled the Umbreon V Max Alternative Art. Sadly, I just. I thought about doing a video, you know, just like on YouTube of going like, yeah, oh, here's a hundred packs or whatever, how many packs I bought from Evolving Skies. Let's do it. Um, I just feel like I have better luck. And like, that's funny as I'm doing this video, I just feel like I have better luck Landorus um, offline than I do online. When I do this kind of stuff, I don't know what it is. I feel like... A little superstitious, well, a little superstitious about it, right? I mean, I don't know. I pull, I pull, I pull off, pull off the the greatest hits offline, right? I feel like I pull insane stuff. Oh no! Oh, okay, it's a green and full art. Darn it! Okay, I thought very cool though. We got the green with the nom 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 and size. There's one twenty. Draw three. Um, it's V Max is crazy. Oh. There we are. I, um, but yeah, I just feel like I have better luck offline. You know, I don't know what it is. Like, you know, you can't always have a camera on. I mean, there is a camera always on everywhere. But at the same time, you know, I just, I don't know. Maybe, you know, you always get down. You're like, gosh, I just give up, right? Um, but again, I just, I think I was thinking like, how many packs of Evolving Skies have I opened? I'm never going to pull it. And then I do. And then the Greeting VMAX Secret Rare. Okay, so this kind of probably... This is probably a secret rare out of um, this box. Which is cool, cool. I, I'll take the Greeting VMAX. Um, but it's no Mew VMAX Alternative Art. Or the Gengar VMAX Alternative Art. Which are both insanely Super Bowl playable cards. I wiped the floor today with Gengar VMAX on PC's Geo. Uh, went 10 and 2. All right. So, the turn of profit, you've got to use this with like Scoop Up Nets and Galarian Zigzagoons and then Italians. You got to like ping your opponent 
Um, maybe you got to use a, a glaring wrap dash B to get your opponent down to, you know, 100 HP. You got to just like knock it down, right? Um, that way you can take two more prize cards. So essentially you can, if you hit out of VMAX, you can hit five. So that's kind of like the strategy behind that card. Um, or just in general, if you're going against like stage one and two type decks, um, you can you can essentially take the game in three turns, I think, if you're going like that. Or if you can take it in two turns, you know, depending on if you're going against a beast. I have to be careful. I'm going to rip that crap out of this. Excuse my language. Um, I don't think crap is that bad of a word, though. Um, nothing, nothing, nothing. Battle VRP. Very cool. This goes into me, VMAX deck. Again, we'll do a quick review. No, v that's like, I'm just asking for a review in VMAX. Guys, like, come on. Like, my goodness. Yeah, you, if you just write in the comments, you could probably just write in the comments, hey, Professor, why don't you just go buy it? Why don't you just go trade at book table games? Find someone, preferably your age, or someone like, like, you know, that you can buy, buy, power tab, we're good to go. You know, buy the card from, or not buy the card from, but trade for it. Um, because this is just getting ridiculous. What is this? I, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not, I mean, how many boxes do I have to open to get a, here we go, Cramatic, cram o -matic. Good. Let me know if I'm going too fast. Um, in the comments be like next time we do a booster box opening slow down um okay a lot of white it's a rude v quick ball okay we can use that good to go uh i don't see anything else we can use from the in the view me oh it's just this is just painful look i mean it's not chris's fault but i am saying it's not my fault but it is my fault for buying this Fergie later. Fergie for a uh, Fergie later. Um, but I did. Here's the thing. Here's the good news. I do got a couple more booster boxes coming from Fulgur Games or Tricky Gym. If you want to go check their website up, they do buy very good bulk. And and by bulk, I mean you can trade in about three thousand five hundred cards, and they'll send you a booster box. Um, so I've traded in a ton fusion strike there we go and another for you later very cool i traded a over ten thousand cards for a few of these fusion strike boxes um so i can find the mu max and do we know gosh no got plenty of you <laughs> darn you i don't need a bolt on v max i got plenty of those to yeah I mean, plenty to build a deck, I'll tell you that. Um, now, if Boltan was a, like, a Fusion Strike Pokemon, I, I think then, uh, I think we might... I think we might have been a more playable card. Um, oops. Excuse me. There it is. Hope you grab the card. And... Oh, no, it's the Great Phoenix. <laughs> oh, oh, well. All right, so we pulled the secret rare, or we pulled a full art greedent V. This must be a greedent fox. And then we pulled a greedent VMAX secret rare. And then we pulled, no, that's it. Yeah, and then we pulled just the regular. Very cool. We don't need to review the greedent VMAX. Come on, greedent. If you guys ever seen the greedent V deck, uh, it's on Tricky Gem. It's pretty good. It's pretty funny, actually. Um, nothing here, um, yeah, nothing there. Man, this is so, how many VMAXs did we pull? We pulled one, two, we pulled two VMAXs and a greedy VMAX. So we pulled three, two of the same though. I'll show you guys, we'll, sh we'll do a review. Let me know in the comments if you guys think I should just stop pulling Fusion Strike and just give up. Um... Oh, Deoxys. Oh. Alright, so not the greatest probably in the um a Mew VMAX deck, but I mean you can you can 
you can put it in there. You, I just don't rec rec really recommend it. Um, let's see. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Quick ball, quick ball, and a code card for you players. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see me just build a V, the, or just want to see the deck build of me VMAX on PCGO. I'm more than happy to do it. Electricity Hollow. Battle VIP, very good. And did I show you the code card? Or I don't know. Did I? I think I, I thought I did. I might have. If I didn't, I'm sorry. Man, that is just. Oof. All right, here we go. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Latius. You can go put this. This is actually good. Um, one, because you got Dino Barrier. So Dino Barrier prevents all effects or attacks from VMAX. So that's good. And here we are. But yeah, so this is this is good in the deck. And nothing here. And let's see, a little bit, nothing here. And we are down to the last three packs. I doubt that we'll get the UV Max. Um, oh well, we tried, right? Oricorio. This is good in your VMAX deck, uh, or new VMAX deck, because your uh, Fusion Strike take 20 less damage, so it's a great card. Put that in there. Um, man, that is just so disappointing. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well, oh well. Alright. I do... We do. I do have a surprise, though. Um, not really a surprise, but I do have an extra couple extra boxes we can open. We're doing the card track. Yeah, track pull. All right, cool. And this is it. And it's just a white code card. And we did. We did not do it. We did not do it. Praying did not help. Nothing. But here's the thing. We'll just take all this bulk that we got. We're gonna trade it back in, or at least most of it. We'll take the energies out. I mean, right, and then we're we're quarter way there, right? Um. Anyways. Very unfortunate that we did not pull it. But, you know, can't, beggars can't be choosers, right? So this is, I don't know, I might just have to just order Fusion Strike boxes on uh, online elsewhere instead of Flip. This is just, this is very disappointing. Very disappointing. Uh, so we got the Green and Full Art, right? Toxicity. We got that Secret Rare, Landora, Steelix, Intellion V. Green and VMAX, Bolt on VMAX, Bolt on V, and we pulled the first Mu V from the first pack. I thought we we had a I thought we had something good, but we didn't. Um, let's check it out. We're gonna go into overtime and open up. Let me clear some room here. Alright, here we go. Sorry, so what I did was I just stopped it and then just add well i just added in this pretty much this video to the uh to the youtube video that we're doing now um i don't think oh yeah here we are i call this overtime see if we can get some so the reason i have these check this out that's that pikachu here's the promo for your for those who don't have it yet um again we did a box opening already of this but here's the thing these are and don't don't rush to your target <laughs> well i mean you can do it online if you want but um the uh got the other box here these boxes are 16 dollars and some change at target so they're like three, they're like four dollars off right now so uh, that's that's the reason uh, I got a couple of these because they're on they're on sale and uh, you know they don't say that in store like on like the shelf you can actually just when you're checking out you can just have them price match it and uh, you know there'll be more than whoop God I am just making a mess they are more than happy to there's the other Pikachu V. And here's the another Mimikyu out of darkness blaze. And here's the other card card for you guys. The um Yeah, but it's on sale. So 
Go ahead. We will just we'll get this we'll get the we'll rip the band-aid up. And we'll just wait four. This should be this should be four. What am I doing? So let's just rip the band-aid off and just do these first. Um oh well you never know. Like if I if we pull the Mew V Max, I will be thoroughly thoroughly disappointed because I would have been like, hey, I would have just bought a bunch of these Pikachu V boxes from Target and said, Latias, nothing. That was a black oh uh, whatever. Has a, a red code card. What's going on here? Or black one. Now everything's really messed up. <laughs> now, oh man. Oh, this is. See now, this is the white code card, right? But uh, I don't think we're gonna get anything because the black, the black borderline code card indicated something, but didn't Lapras. Oh well, there we go. It's backwards. All right, Fergulate. For I I don't understand, but that's all right. So I guess we want, so in the boxes, right? I guess we get, I don't know. I think it's, it's not consistent, but oh well. All right, another white code card. Mew, is this Mew V Max? Can we find it? Is there something? Probably not. Uh, oh well. I'm kind of losing steam here on it. And then arc. <laughs> yeah, see, no consistent white code card, nothing. Um, I don't know, maybe. Honestly, if I had to choose, I would probably rather pull, like, I think the, uh, the deal I'm going to make with myself is that if I pull, like, some kind of alternative art from Fusion Strike, whether that be, like, a Gengar VMAX or a, a Mew VMAX, then I'll just go on TCG Player and I'll just buy the Mew VMAX like a normal player would. Oops. All right. Sorry. Um, look at these. <laughs> yeah. I, wait, did I give this out? If I didn't. Sorry. All right. Then we got some brilliant stars. I am slow. I'm slow. I'm done. I'm pretty much done with brilliant, brilliant stars. I got like one card I need to find. I might just buy it, but we'll see. Um, I pulled the Charizard V alternative art and whoops. And the Umbreon V I can't open anything right now i i pretty much pulled everything that i that's like you know over 50 dollars or so over 30 um but yeah so good to, i'm pretty much good on brilliant stars guys let me know how far you guys are and charizard v is making its way in i built this deck online on pc Joe. i actually will probably showcase it we'll probably go take a look at it in another video but i i i, I built it with arcus v because i feel like that's the only way to really build the deck is you need magma basement and arceus arcus v to get it going i mean it's good i mean when it hits hard right um but it hits wait it hits for a lot of energy. And I think you gotta, yeah. Just hits hard for a lot of energy and you're discarding um, Shanks and a Muck. But, yeah, so you're hit, you're, it, it hits hard. Um, it hits for 230 consistency with, um, oh, what, what am I doing? Well, so I guess we're just doing this. Um, it hits pretty hard for 230, but again, you need to, You know, you only get that one V-Star power a game. So if you are playing it with Arceus V, you know, do, are you, do you, you know, if you find yourself in like kind of a tough bind, do you use Arceus V-Star power to find the cards you need? Or do you just go with, oh, we got Aridos coming in and then just a Infernape holographic. Very cool. But look, wow, look at that. Cool, cool, cool. Spider's Net. But, um, yeah, so no Mew V Max, but that's all right. That is all right. I think we did okay. Um, I'm a little disappointed, but that's all right. I don't think we've had, like, like an insane video or, oh, I mean, I guess maybe on, like, the, um, on one of the videos I think we did that the, um, oh, here, here it is. I don't know if you guys got that. 
that um, that we did pull it that meat we did pull an Arturno bar I think out of the Joltown v Max deck but I think that's uh, that's it but uh, yeah let me know should I keep buying Fusion Strike booster boxes let me know in the comments if not I will just probably just go online and buy it and build the deck from there for gameplay but otherwise you know again we just pulled these ones not bad and uh but you know it's going in the binder I, I probably won't play these in tournament play um but definitely putting i, I you know I, I have plenty of movies so no need plenty of Voltown v maxes probably won't play until V. but yeah uh thanks for sticking around guys i know it's a kind of a long video but thanks for watching as always again if you guys have not liked or subscribed to my channel please do so it really helps to push content around the world to players and collectors and um you know get getting excited for uh astral radiance new set coming out may 27th so again if you haven't got your pre-orders and go to the elite trainer oh the elite trainer go to the pokemon center get some you know get a couple etbs and uh yeah there's gonna be some good uh some cards coming up here in the next sets that i think is gonna make grass pokemon pretty well uh pretty well off and um you know i hope uh fighting can kind of take the corner and take a take a rest uh, and i hope lightning can come back strong because i'm a big lightning player so all right thanks guys we'll see you in the next video Bye bye